Ah, right, today I'm making uh, a little meal in the uh, truck. I'm gonna eat and try out the meatloaf. Meatloaf with restaurant restaurant size glaze. Uh, it's pre-wrapped. It said for me to put it in the microwave for three minutes, uh, and I'm gonna see how it is. So it's got the saran wrap around it. It kind of blows up and heats up. So let's check it out. All right, so I got this little fold-out table right here. These little TV trays you buy at Walmart. That way, it's right here in front of my bunk. Uh, I can right now. I'm getting the, the meatloaf is getting microwaved, and then I have a side of macaroni right here, and I have a side of homemade or not homemade, but great value microwavable butter-flavored mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna warm both of those up. We're gonna check those out, and see how those are. This meal's a little starchier than normal I would like, but uh, I want a decent meal, so I'm gonna do some mashed potatoes, macaroni, the meatloaf, and then I've got some real bacon bits right here that I'm gonna pour in the mashed potatoes. All right, so the meatloaf's out. I'm letting it uh, sit. It's really hot. So now I'm going to go ahead and pour my water into my mashed potatoes right here. If I'm pour it everywhere. Make sure it's just a thin line. You don't go above the line. Stir it up, and then you microwave it. And like I said, they're real bacon bits. I put on that. It's going to make it fire. Now, while that's in the microwave, we're going to go ahead and pour some more water into these macaroni right here. All right, so now the mashed potatoes are done. The macaroni's in the microwave. I'm gonna put some of this real bacon. Mm, I love some bacon. Some real bacon in there. Pour me a little salt and pepper. And like I said, I'm kind of cheating on my diet a little bit today. I normally want to eat all these starches. I just eat the, the meatloaf, but I wanted to make this for the video anyway. So I'm gonna stir all that up. Now the meatloaf is looking like it's it's done. Look at that fresh, good looking meatloaf. The meatloaf looks good though. All right, now we're just waiting on the macaroni, but I believe these bacon bits and these mashed potatoes are gonna be really good, but the sauce is left over in that, that pan I just poured over this meatloaf right here. And then I do have my ketchup and I have hot sauce right here. So there's no reason to go spend all this money and tip these waitresses up there. Save that money for your wife and family. Make it in the truck. If you want a decent meal, then make it in your truck. I'm telling you, this is just as good as some of these places we eat. And y'all know, y'all have some garbage out here they serve. Now, this ain't no Texas Roadhouse. This ain't no Longhorns or nothing. But as far as regular truck stop food, this beats it all day long. And it, you're making it yourself. But it just seems, it seems better. But anyways, I hope that you got some value from this. I'm going to let you know in just a minute. I'm going to pause this video. The macaroni just got almost ready. I got to mix the sauce up with it. And then I'm going to eat it. And then I'm going to come back and let y'all know... Um, what I thought. All right, mashed potatoes, meatloaf, macaroni, all cooked from inside the old international. So I'm gonna eat this food up and uh, it tastes. All right, so I just ate it. Wasn't that bad. I did put the bacon bits in the macaroni. I thought that made it a little better. Now, the meatloaf was not like my mother-in-law ever makes it. She makes good meatloaf. Um, so I wouldn't say it like that. It's not like a home cooked meal. But as far as these truck stop foods, yeah, a lot of these church out there. I'll, I'll take a few bites and throw it away. It's just awful. But no, it was better than that. So definitely worth it. Um, I'd rather make you know homemade mashed potatoes would be a little better. Uh, but nothing's gonna be you know southern home style meatloaf. You know, this is a frozen meatloaf, so it ain't gonna be like what you get at home. But it's better than what you get is at these truck stops. So hey, I'll be start making more videos of what I cook and what I eat out here, and hopefully that'll help y'all out. God bless y'all. If you're new to my channel hit that like button subscribe hit a bell notification i put out videos almost every day so showing what it's like being out here as truck drivers let me know in the comments what you think how you cook and uh, so we can do more videos on that hey let's get this train off of shine